Dad, under them things. Go for it. <laughs> I need a glow up to help me. I'll help you. Episode 5 CD Spectroscope. For the spectroscope, you're going to want an old CD, a toilet paper roll, thin piece of cardboard from a cereal box, tape, hot glue, box cutter, scissors, sharpie, and optional dark paint if you have it, and a paintbrush. So I tried out a couple different styles. We're going to be doing the one on the bottom here. That was pretty easy to make and takes pretty awesome pictures at the end. These are some photos I got. The first step here is going to be to go ahead and take your toilet paper roll, place it right up against the edge of the CD, and then trace a circle using your Sharpie. So I actually tried this with a couple different types of discs, uh, like CDs and DVDs, and it turns out that the best option is really an old rewritable CD, uh, because what you do here is you actually are going to remove the film on the top, and it doesn't come off very easily of all the discs I tried, but the old rewritable CD was the best. So score it with your box cutter, and then see if you can start to peel away with, at it. And what I did is use tape then to very slowly and tediously uh, kind of peel it off like you're ripping a band-aid off or something. And eventually you're going to get hopefully a nice clean surface like that. I went ahead and finished the whole disc off. You could make more than one spectroscope out of this. Uh, and I traced a new circle, kind of on the cleanest part of the CD. And now I'm going to take my hot glue and attach the toilet paper roll to the disc. And now if you don't have hot glue, you could use tape for this part. It's a little messier, um, but I think it would still work. Next, you're going to take your thin piece of cardboard and trace another circle on there. Now, this is the slit end of the spectroscope. Uh, we're going to be cutting a very thin slit for uh, light to come through. And so I took my box cutter and I just made uh, two cuts that are probably less than a millimeter apart. And, uh, you know, I tried it with different sizes of slit and they work pretty well, but you want it to be pretty thin. And I went ahead and popped that out. And it's just about ready to be attached to the other part that we have constructed so far. You're going to want to take a close look at the orientation of the slit uh, relative to the CD here. It's kind of hard to describe, but it would be parallel to a tangent or even perpendicular to a radius drawn from the center of the circle. And you're going to go ahead and hot glue it on there. Next, we're going to take our scissors and cut the cardboard, the thin cardboard, out around the circle. We're not cutting the CD right now. We are cutting the cardboard. Um, take your time with it. You'll get a good idea of the orientation I was talking about earlier here if you look through the CD. Now, this next part is optional, but if you do want to do it, you definitely need safety goggles uh, because cutting the plastic CD is a little little hazardous. Uh, little pieces will fly out. Um, so you don't need to do this, uh, but if you do want to make it a little more compact, you can cut this part off. Another option is to paint the spectroscopes a dark color. Uh, this is going to keep light from getting in. You do not want to paint the CD side. Uh, you're just painting the cardboard sections. It's very important to note that you should never look directly at the sun with a spectroscope or any scientific instrument. This is what they look like when they're done. For this first one, I took some black tape and made kind of an eye hole, and this just prevents more ambient light from coming in. Uh, the second one you'll see works just fine. So what a spectroscope does is breaks light down into the different wavelengths that make it up, and depending on what you're looking at, whether it's sunlight or whether you're looking at a uh, fluorescent light bulb, you're going to see a different pattern. And that pattern is unique to the type of gas that's in the bulb, I think the coolest thing about them is that astronomers use them to tell what distant stars are made of. And I'll leave a link in the bottom here to show you that video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your spectroscopes. Thanks again to my family for helping me out. And enjoy!